this is chapter 28, uh, the story when Jacob was escaping from his brother. I mean, he's a blessed family by a strange family. <laughs> uh, Jacob had just been blessed by his father, but then he had to run away from his brother. You know, there are strange things which happen when you are blessed. Now Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. Haran. So he, he came to a place, to a certain place, and stayed there all night because the sun has, had set. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. And he lay down in that place to sleep. Then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth. And it stopped, uh, the top of the ladder reached to heaven. And there the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above, above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father and your God and the God of Isaac. The land on which you are lie, uh, and the land on which you lie, I will give it to you and your descendant. Also, your descendant shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad, abroad to the west and the and the east, to the north and the south, and in you, and in your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I'm with you and will keep you wherever you, I'll keep you wherever you go and I'll bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I've spoken to you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, surely the Lord is in this place and, it, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Then Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone and he had put, that he had put at his head, set it up as a pillar and put oil on, it, on top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. But the name of that city had been loose previously. Then Jacob made a vow saying, if God will be with me and keep me in this way, what am I going what, uh, in this way that I'm going and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on so that I come back to my father's house in peace? Then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone shall ha which I have set as a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that uh, you give me, I'll surely give a thanks to you. Glory to God for his word. Father, we give you praise for this morning. And we thank you for the beautiful worship. We thank you for all the thing which has been done so far. And we call upon your name. We trust you. Let your word bring fruits to the glory of your name and to the joy of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The word which came to my mind and as I was sharing with my family, I said, what shall I say? They remind me this. So I said, I'm going to share with you. I said, there is a letter for you. Would you tell your neighbor there is a letter for you? Ah, speak it as you believe it. There is a ladder for you. 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 There is not a staircase. Some, some version says staircase. Okay, you can call it staircase. But let it have it a ladder. Hallelujah. The reason there is a ladder is because you are going up. Oh, if you believe it, you may say amen. Listen, amen, amen is not a word for protestant or believers or so-called saved ones. Amen is a key to your miracle. Amen. The word amen may look sh small. But you see, you see these big doors here. 
How big are the keys of these big doors? They're very small. The door may be big, but the key is always small. Amen is a short word of about A M E N. How many? Four or five? Are you sure? I think there are five. A M E N. There are four. Okay. In our language, it's five. Amina. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. In 92, we were in the UK with my wife, and the doctor has just discovered that she had a gold brother, and he said, I think 90% chance you have to be operated. So I asked for permission. I said to the doctor, can I take her to the meeting? To the, he was a believer. He said, okay, you can go, but make sure she doesn't get tired. I said, okay, I'll try my best. We get in that meeting, a guy was speaking there, some of you may know him, is a guy called uh, Mahesh Shavd. He's a powerful man of God. He stood up and said, this, in this place there's a lady. And the Lord brought her back to life two years ago. She, when we had our first son, Enoch, our first baby, she almost died. She went into a coma for two weeks. And the Lord really brought her back. Uh, she's a miracle, she's a blessing. And, um, and uh, so the, the preacher said, the Lord brought her back two years ago as a resurrected person. But this time the doctor said she has a good brother and the doctor told her that she had 90% chances to be operated. But the Lord has hid her. So I looked for her, but I couldn't see her. And I rushed to see where she was resting with the baby in there. It was a summer camp, so we were using tents and caravans. And so I told her, you know, the man of God said this and this and this. She said, Amen. And that was it. She just said, Amen. That was summer, I think August 92. 20 years later, they haven't done anything on her God brother. And she was going like this. I mean, she was bent. It was painful. You don't know what your word amen, amen means. You are catching your fish. You are catching your miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is not just a habit. This is a, you are saying it is true. Amen means it is true. It is so. It is done. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So I'm saying there is a ladder for you. And this ladder is here for you because you are going up. Amen. I'm saying your way up is open. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are following the risen king, the risen Christ. And this Christ, once he has done everything, he was lifted up. He was taken up. So the way up is open. Amen. Hallelujah. It was open. So the followers of Christ are going up. You see, in this world, we live in under a certain heaviness. Uh, even in the, we have learned it in the laws of physics, uh, the laws of gravity. Whatever you throw up comes down. I mean, even if you pray 40 days and 40 nights and lift it up seven times, comes down. You try your best, but there are things which try to push you down. So we have been accustomed to that. We've been used to that to the point that we pull down ourselves. I'm bringing a word for you. There is a ladder for you. Amen. You're not just going up. There is a ladder for you. Amen. There is a support for you to go up. Amen. It may be this word, it may be something God is doing for you, or to you, or through you. Whatever it is, I say there is a ladder for you. There is a ladder for you, my brother. There is a ladder for you, my sister. There is a ladder for you. And uh, the ladder is not far from you. The Bible says, this man was running away from his brother. And when the son has gone, 
the sun has set, the sun was going down, it was dark, he slept. And when he slept, he dreamt. Where he slept, that's where the ladder was. Tell your neighbor, my ladder is here. You see, the problem is many people are looking for ladders far from where they are. God knows where you are. And he knows what you're going through. Oh, you say, I wish I was in the States. I wish I was in Canada. Things could be better. I mean, some other African countries are wishing to be in South Africa. <laughs> and you're here saying, I wish I was... No, I said your ladder is there. Yeah. It is right there. Actually, you are moving with it. Yeah. Oh my. You are moving with your ladder. Yeah. It's there. They don't tell us the name of the place right there. But later on they say the name was called Luz which became Bethel. Bethel is the house of God. You are the house of God. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So the ladder is with you. The ladder is with you. Hallelujah. And the ladder is here. You come here crushed, you go away strengthened. You go away blessed. I said there is a ladder here. There is a ladder here. I'm not building any. I'm not bringing a new one. No, 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 no. I'm just helping you to see. Is there? Is there for you? Is there for me? I wasn't supposed to be here this morning. But I know there's a ladder here. <laughs> Wherever you go, the ladder is with you. The ladder is with you. But there's a place. And he's well known. When Jesus was about to go to heaven, he said to them, let's go to this mountain. It's known. It's in Galilee. Your place of promotion is known. Other people may not know it, but you know it. It will happen the way you'll never be confused. You say, I know God has done it. I know God has done it. Again, I'm saying there is a ladder for you. There is a ladder for you. The problem, the reason people do not see their ladders is because they expect to see their ladders when things are going well. They expect to see their ladders in the daylight. But my Bible shows me that most of the people who have seen their ladders or who have gone up, it has happened in that time. Mm. Jacob, it was in the night. That's where he saw his ladder. It was in the escape. That's where he saw his ladder. He was running away. He wasn't in his house. No, he was running away. He wasn't in a hotel. He was on the street. <laughs> Using a stone like a pillar. In strange places. But the ladder was there. I said the ladder was there. I mean, you look at Jacob, uh, jo the son of Jacob, Joseph. He looked like he's a family thing. <laughs> Joseph, he dreamed becoming great. He dreamed going up. He said, you people, even though you're looking at me this way, no, no, I won't, I'm not going to stay this way. I'll be great. I'll be great. I'm going up. That's my dream. That's my vision. But then the father sent him to take some food for his brothers. They sold him to Egypt, not knowing they're paying his ladder. You see, this boy didn't have transport fees. He didn't have air ticket. So they sold him. That's how he went. To his destiny. I'm saying, receive your ladder, my sister. Receive your ladder, my brother. There is a ladder for you. There is a ladder for you. There is a ladder for you. It may look dark. 
but the sun is coming. The Bible says it was dark, then it was morning. It was night, then it was morning. Your day doesn't start with the day. It starts with the night. I don't know whom I'm encouraging today. The creation says it was night and it was day. The day is coming. The day is coming for Africa. The day is coming for you. You know, you may be a billionaire. That's not the end. No, that's, that's just the way. The end is something better. God wants to become a billionaire. Say so you make others billionaires. That's the purpose of this family. I'll make you a, I'll bless you and make you a blessing. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus looked at the people. They were feasting in John chapter 7. They were feasting. After seven, eight days, they are all happy, they are full, and Jesus rose up and said, whoever is thirst, can you imagine? People have been feasting for seven days, and Jesus rose up and said, whoever is thirst, let him come to me. He knows there are people who are not just satisfied by the common. Yes, everybody is feasting, but he knows there's somebody who's thirst to go a little bit higher. Ooh, hallelujah. And he did it on the last day. I mean, where everybody has eaten and drunk. But he said, whoever is thirst, let him come. I'll give him the water. But he also said, whoever believes in me, I'm not going to quench the thirst only, but I'm going to convert that person into the citern of rivers of water. Out of your innermost being. Rivers. You see, there's one thing to be satisfied with one glass of water. But there's another thing to be a moving reservoir. A moving citern. A moving well. Oh. Hallelujah. This is what I mean. He wants to take you from one level to another level. From glory to glory. Hallelujah. From healing to wellness. Amen. It's good to receive miracles. But it's good to become a miracle yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, this ladder is to take you from one level to another. From Beersheba to Alan. It's not at the beginning, it's not at the end, it's in the middle. Between point A and point Z. Tell your neighbor there is a ladder for you. There is a ladder for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.